No society wants you to become wise. It is against the investment of all societies. If people are wise, they cannot be exploited. If they are intelligent, they cannot be subjugated. They cannot be forced into a mechanical life to live like robots. They will have the fragrance of rebellion around them. In fact, a wise man is a fire, alive, a flame. He would like rather to die than to be enslaved. Osho. The only way that you can control hundreds of millions of people, like in the case of America or China, which has over a billion people, is through mass propaganda, is through mass control. It is through conformity. If enough of the public acts and thinks a certain way and accepts the status quo of normal and then ridicules anything outside of that, as society does, then that is how you can have 10 dudes in a room somewhere running the whole show. This is what Osho meant. The society does not want you to be wise. It wants you to listen to what the powers that be say, to pay your taxes, to not break the law, and to pretty much live a life of quiet desperation, as Thoreau said, and then go to your grave with your song still inside you. Because the song that's inside you is maybe a song of rebellion. It's a song of challenging the status quo. It's a song of let's find the truth. How much of what they're saying isn't truth? Is this war justified? Is bombing children in the Middle East justified? Are taxes justified? What's the history of taxes? Oh, they were created during wartime and they were supposed to be temporary? Oh, the income tax was supposed to be rich people only? As Ronald Reagan said, there's nothing more permanent than a temporary government solution. But the wise man, the wise woman is a flame. He or she cannot but express his or her truth and live freely and be sovereign. And one way to take your sovereignty in your own hands is Bitcoin. You're either gonna buy it now or buy it later. You might as well buy it now and get a better price.